studying everyone it is 5 38 a.m i am not a morning person as you can hear in my voice um but bethany and i are going to a pilates class this morning at 6 a.m and so i'm headed there now and oh my gosh i'm so tired i feel like i can like went to bed at an okay time but I don't know if it was like good enough to be waking up this early I think I should have gone to bed earlier but it's okay it's okay we make our mistakes oh my gosh I really hope this wakes me up and I don't feel the need to like have to go back to sleep when I get home after this class because obviously like I don't typically wake up this early so I should take advantage of the fact that I have awoken this early and like be a functioning member of society but I'm also excited to go to this class I just want to put that out there I might be super tired but like I'm actually pretty pumped to like go to my Pilates class Uh, stand back here. No, you sit right here. Now turn it around and show them. Say it's a mini etch a sketch. So cool. I'm back from my Pilates class and I have showered. I did not wash my hair because I'm going to do that tonight. So we did a lovely little slick back pony. It kind of looked like an egg, but it's okay. Meadow, your hair's kind of messy too, but it's okay. But now I'm gonna do my skincare. I washed my face in the shower, and now I'm gonna do the rest of my skincare. Okay. So I can be ready for the rest of the day. Can I put you down? Canadian bacon. I got an iced latte and then I got a bagel with a blueberry bagel with cream cheese. And then I got a semi brioche loaf and I'm so excited because I haven't had this in so long. So we're gonna cut it up here in a second. And Mo is just chilling eating her yogurt her like fifth yogurt of the day right mm. she's so cute can mommy sit with you and we eat together mm. pretty good huh updated Dyson Airwrap tutorial along with a little Dyson Corral tutorial 
And I'm going to show you my hair care products as well because I feel like that's kind of part of the whole like tutorial is knowing everything. So for starters, my hair is naturally like kind of wavy and frizzy. So know that going into it, my hair does hold curl really well. So yes, but I do color my hair and I have been coloring my hair for a while now. So I do try to take extra care of it. I only wash my hair once a week and I only typically style my hair once a week. So I only blow dry it once a week and use my um, straightener once a week because I don't want to put that much heat on my hair. So that's a little background for shampoo and conditioner. I always use a purple shampoo. This is the Kerastase one. I love this. It smells the best and it's great. Um, and then I will go in after that and use another shampoo and conditioner combo. This is a new one. I'll have it linked in the description down below, but I love the smell of this. It's for sensitized or damaged color treated hair. So that's exactly what my hair is. We love that. But literally it smells so good. And then my hair still smells like that. And then for a heat protectant, I use this. Um, it's not going to focus, but that's fine. I will link this in the description down below as well. I just put it on my wet hair and then I brush my hair. And now I have sectioned my hair off and I will start using my Dyson Corral. I only use three pieces. This is like the hair dryer one and then the two brushes. So I will show you how I do that. Number one tip is to section off your hair and then I use it on the hottest site like the hottest setting um and like the highest like blow of air because that's what works best for me and then I will start like at the root and try to get the root as dry as possible and as straight and smooth as possible and then I'll kind of go through and like get the ends as well and I'll kind of come through it with my fingers as I'm drying it and once I get it to about 80% dry I will move on to this so I'll show you that actually i feel like i lied i feel like this is more like 60 percent dry because i really need to dry it straight with this and this is the one without the purple one so it's not the smoothing one and I just go in and essentially like brush it and I'll go like in like this and really try to keep it as smooth and straight as possible. the smoothing one just to smooth it out. Now we're done with the first layer and as you can see it's like silky smooth and very straight so I'm just gonna move on to the rest of the, my hair and I'll reconvene when we get to the top because a little different so okay we're on the last layer and it's very small because that just helps me get it as smooth as possible because I got a lot of hair so I essentially do the same thing I just am a little bit more careful because I definitely feel that when these pieces don't go well the rest of the hair doesn't look as good so that's what we're working with see because like even this is already kind of like a little wavy which we'll fix that it's fine but i typically will put that back i'm gonna put a little clip on this and i'm gonna focus just on this side to finish um 
in the other layers i do the whole layer and then move on to the next one but i'm gonna dry this and then i'm gonna go through each little step until it's perfect and then i'll move on to this side so also these are the secret in a little television for the secret to getting your hair done and not feeling like you completely wasted time so fun facts with Caitlin. straight we've got a little hiccups because that's just my hair in a nutshell so now I'm gonna turn on my Dyson Corral and I turn up it to the hottest setting gonna let that warm up while I separate my hair I separate it the same way that I do for drying my hair and yeah it's pretty straightforward um but I will show you how I do it because why not, you know? And yeah, I just brush it to make sure that it's all smooth and straight. Whoa. And I gotta take this out because I can't hear. I feel like I'm yelling. Um, I start from the back on one side and this is my left side and this is my right hand which is my dominant hand and you're just gonna take it like this and you're gonna twist and you're gonna twist and i typically pull it out and twist and pull it out and twist and you have a curl beautiful my camera is dying so that's like deeply unfortunate so i'm gonna have to get a new battery but let me show you again so hair straightener you go in and you turn you wrap it around you drop that curl you wrap it around you drop that curl you wrap it around and you drop the curl and you got a cute little curl so while i do feel like it is pretty straightforward i will also show you the other side so curl You've gone in a full circle you're gonna drop that curl you're gonna go in another full circle you're gonna drop that full rotation and drop it beautiful and I'm not gonna brush it out until the end because I want it to cool in its most curled way that way it has a better chance of lasting now this is a harder side so this is my left hand this is my right hand we're going with the piece here we're curling away from the face again we're dropping the curl we're rotating we're dropping the curl we're rotating and there we go i do feel like the curls are all kind of slightly different but that is all good does not matter again this we're curling away we're dropping, full rotation, dropping, full rotation, and done. Last one on this side. So I'm gonna show you one more time. We're going under, we're curling away. Full rotation, drop the curl. Full rotation, drop the curl. And we kind of just go straight down. And there we go beautiful and again not going to brush it out until the very end and i will show you what that looks like when we get to the very top i didn't change this battery first though show you 
two more times on this side because again i think this is the harder side at least for me so hold the piece this goes like this and you turn away and you take one rotation let it go one rotation turn one rotation and there you go so i'm not like completely letting go of the clamp like i'm keeping this closed the whole time i'm just like twisting away and then like tilting it down so that the top hair drops off of the straightener so i'll show you one more time we're twisting away and then see how it drops off the top of the straightener twisting away drops off the top and we finish and now it's like super curly it will obviously not stay this curled um, I'm gonna let it like set and cool for a few minutes. This is what it looks like without doing anything to it. It. I will come back in a few minutes and I will show you how I like comb it out. Okay, super curly. Just going to do this with my hands very lightly. Nothing crazy. I'm not gonna brush it out. And. Here we go. This is what it looks like now and it will definitely fall because it's the nighttime and I will touch it up in the morning. Typically to touch it up, I just like touch up the top pieces, but I will show you guys that in the morning because I'm not going to do it now because there's literally no point because I'm just going to sleep on it. But this is what it looks like and yeah, it's super easy. I mean, it takes a little bit of time, but... I mean, I only do this once a week, so not too bad. Also, sometimes my mom does it for me because I'm lazy. Do you have all your stuffed animals? Yeah, you're so cute. I got your stuffed animals. Hello, friends. It is the end of December 9th. And I haven't really talked to you today. I will show you a couple of clips that I got today, at, like after this. But I did not touch up my hair this morning because it was like a torrential downpour outside. So there's really no point to fix my hair. Um, I'm actually shocked that it stayed looking as nice as it does based on the weather. Um, it held up pretty good actually. Um, not like super puffy or humid. So fabulous. I hung out with my friend Kim today. It was so great. We haven't hung out with like out kids in a long time. So it was really fun to just hang out for most of the day. But we did that and then now Meadow is down for bed and Jamo is still out. And I'm just getting a few things ready because my friend's baby shower is tomorrow and I'm super excited about it. I'll show you all the things that I am bringing. But I need to like get prepped and ready for that because I need to leave at 7 15 in the morning so I need to have all my stuff like in order ready to go so I don't forget anything because I'm not a morning person but let me show you the things that I'm bringing because I think it's so cute um we're doing like a little hot chocolate bar so I'm bringing these cups with these cute little sleeves that it's hard to see, but it says, oh baby, it's like so adorable. Matches the theme, very cute. And then I am bringing the cake pops and cookies, which I'll show you in a second. But I'm also bringing some platters for some of the food. And I love these platters. So I have this one, which is like super pretty. It has like a little floral thing etched. It's very 70s vintage vibes. I actually got it for Meadow's birthday party. I got it at University Pickers, so it is actually, like, vintage. Um, and then I also have this one, which is, again, like, the same kind of, like, coloring, like, same, like, pink. And it's so cute. I am literally obsessed. Then, oh, and I got that one from University Pickers, too. This one I got from Anthropology is technically a cake stand, but you can also turn it over and use it this way. Um, my mom did break it, so she had to glue this piece back on, but it is so cute and it matches like kind of like the pink rosy vibes and I love it. Again, I got this from Meadows 
birthday party because it was like a groovy one like flower power themed and I wanted everything to be like very vintage 70s but these have come in handy a lot I've used them multiple times now so now they get to go to my friend's baby shower and I don't know why I find that exciting but I do and then here are the cake pops like I hope it focuses because it's so cute let's see it's really not going to focus because it doesn't want to. Ah, there we go. It is so cute. It has little snowflake on top. I am like truly obsessed. I think it's adorable. It's like a baby it's cold outside like winter wonderland kind of theme. My camera is like having a moment. Um, So we have those and then I will show you the cookies. But after I show you the cookies, I'm going to get doing all the other things that I need to do before I go to bed tonight. But here are the cookies first because obviously you have to see them. Look at how cute. They're like the perfect like baby pink too. And then you've got the baby, which I feel like I do this for every baby shower that I have been a part of. Um, the snowflake and then the little onesie. I am like so obsessed with these. I think they turned out amazing. Also, if you're in Huntsville and you need like cookies like that or cake pops which I've actually never done cake pops with them before but batter up bakery is like truly superior they do all of the things that I've ever done so they did my wedding they did my baby shower cookies like the ones that were in Memphis and the ones here um they've done like one of my other friends baby showers they've done now these baby showers Meadow's first birthday they have done a lot of things and I love them. I think that they always do a great job and I actually really, I'm not like a huge cookie person and I do think these are good, but I love their cakes. I think their cakes taste really good. So if you're in like the Huntsville Madison area, I highly recommend. I will have like their Facebook link down below because I know they're on Facebook, but they are truly superior. I highly, highly, highly recommend them. But now let's get to all the other things that I need to do. casually staring at my closet having zero idea what I should wear tomorrow to this baby shower so mm, yeah I want to wear something like cute but also like kind of comfortable but also like would a photograph well I don't want to look stupid but I don't know Okay, I think I'm going to end tonight's vlog here. I think I figured out what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. The thing that I wanna wear does have like a stain on the bottom, so I've gotta figure out if I'm going to put the effort into trying to get it off, or if I'm just gonna hope that nobody notices, which I'm probably gonna go with option two um, and hope that nobody notices. And then I've gotta finish editing, or I've gotta start and finish editing this vlog. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye!